Dolphin Island Sea Lab studies sea life along the Gulf of Mexico coastline. I spoke with Executive Director George Crozier in the hours before the huge oil spill from the Deepwater Horizon oil rig reached the coastline, the calm before the storm, as it were. He's very worried about what happens if that oil spill finds its way into the large estuaries along the Gulf Coast. We've often used the figure of 90 to 95 percent of all of the seafood, both commercial and recreational in the Gulf of Mexico, spend part of their life cycle, a necessary part of their life cycle, in the estuary. He said allowing the oil spill into those estuaries could have a severely negative impact on the marine life there and dire consequences for seafood production. In 2008, commercial fishermen in the Gulf of Mexico harvested 1.27 billion pounds of fin fish and shellfish. You know, think of it as a floating puddle of crap out there. (laughs) And I, I think the storm is probably starting to the west in Louisiana where they expect landfall and it's just going to gradually spread back to the east as this thing begins to pile up on the coast and it will pile up on the coast. The question is whether we can keep it out in the Gulf as opposed to getting into the estuaries. The plan is, as I understand it at the moment, is the state is putting booms across the passes that lead into the estuaries. So what changes does Crozier see resulting from the spill? I think what's going to change that might be to the good is, in fact, that maybe we really will back off this dependence on oil. Because a week ago, I was uh, reasonably supportive of the industry and the technology that had had served so well for the last 20 years. But my, my confidence in the technology is not nearly what it was a week ago. And I I expect a lot of people feel that way. For Discovery News, I'm James Williams.